Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. Now today I'm going to be showing you how to create a mute command for JDA. This will be a mute command that will mute a user and also be able to unmute them after a certain amount of time has passed. So I'll show you how to do that all in today's episode. So let's get started straight away. So in the main class, it's kind of all the stuff that we've done before. This is a JDA 3.8 version of it, so it's got all the new code. I'll have a link down below in the description to a template that you can use if you want to update your bot from the original video to the new version. So anyway, we're going to go back. I created a guild message received uh, thing here. Now to do a mute command, how this is going to work is we're going to add a role to a user that's going to prevent them from going and chatting in a channel. So let's go into Discord and let's make our new mute role now i've already actually created it uh just gonna be honest here uh but yeah roles and muted so this is the role that we're gonna use what i've done is i just displayed it from online members just so i could test but normally you wouldn't do that and i made sure that you can read and see voice channels but you can't send messages and you can also read message history so they could read previous messages so yeah that's that so now what we want to do is we want to go to our channel we want to go to our permissions here and we want to add a permission for our muted role here and what we want to do for the muted role is we don't want them to send messages so make sure that doesn't exist send tts messages either and well i mean really all the stuff you don't need to change because they already have their stuff but read message history and read messages so we're going to save that you know leave out of here so now we've got our channel to test with so let's go back and let's create the code that we need to make this bot work so i'm going to start with a bit, uh, bit of a command here so we're going to do our typical command stuff actually before we do that let's create our args string list here i should have probably done this before but string list args equals event dot get message dot get content and we want to get the raw and then we want to split it up into the separate spaces that we have there so slash slash s plus we did this in previous episodes i just kind of forgot to create it all right now we're going to do if args if args zero so the first argument is equal to uh ignore case and then we'll do the mute command so i'm just going to do that and then we're going to do mute all right so this is going to check if when the user types something in the chat if it starts with mute if it is then we'll do a mute command now we're going to do a few if statements here the first if statement we're going to do is we're gonna check if args.length is between uh, one, so one argument, and we also wanna check if it's, well, it's in a range, so we wanna check if it's less than three as well. I'll show you what this does in a second, but yeah, less than three. So what this is gonna check for, if, if arguments is greater than one, but less than three, that's if you just mute and the, put the user, but you don't put the time, because I wanna make this so it works just if you mute it indefinitely, or you can mute it just for a certain amount of time. All right, so now we wanna make Another if statement here, this is going to be an else if statement, I don't know if we've done this before in this series, but that's a thing. <laughs> so we're going to do args.length, once again, we want to check if it's greater than or equal to 3. Actually, we should, it's probably better if we do equal to 3 at this point. Um, so there we go. And then we're going to do else. And then else over here, we're going to just send our message for errors. So we're going to do event dot get channel dot send message and we're just going to prepare a bit of an error message here with our syntax don't forget the q at the end i almost forgot that no eclipse that is not how you do q all right so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to say incorrect syntax here and then i'm going to say use and then the actual usage for it so we're going to do our usage here for member actually let's do user mention here since they'll have to put the mention for the user that they're going to mute and then we're going to put the time and i'm just going to say optional here there we go that's that and i want to put that there okay cool so now i've got our error message that will send if they don't do the thing correctly so now uh we want to go inside of our first thing here we're gonna do more if statements this can be more nested if statements but so in here we're going to define the member and this is going to be the member that's going to get muted so just do event.get guild here uh dot get member by id or i get the member by id then we're going to get args one which is going to be the second argument which is the user's mention and we want to replace all the mention stuff um so it's going to be the beginning which is going to be the carrot and then the uh, at sign and we also replace the end of it with uh the other carrot that is not part of it 
with nothing. So basically, around the mention, usually if you convert it to text, it's going to put these carrots, but the ID is surrounded by these, so we want to remove them so we can get just the pure ID, and then we're going to put that at the end there, and there we go. Control shift o to import member, import the JDA core entities member here. And now we want to define the role that we're going to use to add to the user. So I'm going to do role role equals event dot get guild dot get role by ID. I'll show you what to do in there in a second. There we go. And now what we want to do is go into our Discord server. We want to type at muted. Uh, you might want to enable mentions for the user or for the uh, actual for the actual role, which I don't think I have enabled. Yeah, we're gonna enable this just temporarily here. Allow at mention for this role. We're gonna go over here, at muted. And we're just gonna put a backslash here. What you'll see is it gives us all the weird stuff here. We just wanna copy this here. So that's gonna be all the numbers. Okay, and now we're just gonna, turn, well actually, you could disable the mentions later. I'm not gonna show that. I think you probably know how to do this. And now we're gonna create the actual mute code. So we're gonna do an if statement here for the mute code and then the else down here, just in case we have anything that doesn't match up here. And then we wanna see if the member uh, does not have the role. So we're gonna get roles. And if they don't have the role, it'll mute them. So you'll see how this works in a second, as usual. So I'm gonna put the role in there. If they don't have the role, it's gonna mute them. Uh, so I'm just gonna put that there mute user oh jeez, <laughs> and then unmute user so yeah if they don't have the role which is this is the inverse thing as we learned in the previous episode but yeah this if not if it does not contain the role if they don't have the role then I'll mute them okay let's go ahead down here and make the actual mute code so event dot get channel and get the channel dot uh, send message and we'll actually send uh, the message that it's muted them but don't forget the queue at the end that's pretty common for me to forget but we're gonna go in here we're gonna say muted and then we'll put the args uh args one this will be the user and then just add a period at the end to be completely proper and now we're gonna actually mute them so event dot get guild uh dot get controller in this case dot add roles to member member will just be member roles just remove the s here so the template works just fine and then dot complete at the end so now we've gotten that to work so there we go now it'll mute the user now we want to unmute the user so to unmute the user we're going to copy all this code here yeah i know copy pasting we're great coders but uh unmute here so we're going to see unmuted there and then change add roles to member uh we're going to change that remove roles from member there we go so that'll unmute them so now we can actually test this out so let's run our bot and it should run just fine in the console there we go ran perfectly fine so i'm going to do is i'm going to say mute and i'm going to mute my tester here so at box vps tester oh geez my internet speed is great but there we go it says muted box vps tester and now if we go to the account of box vps tester you'll see you do not have permission to send messages in this channel now we're going to put this right here and uh, there's no way good to do this, but watch down here in the bar. We're gonna do mute again, and we'll put box DPS tester, and it'll unmute them. So as you can see, they can type again. Hey there, and there we go. And if they type something bad again, we can mute at box DPS tester. There we go. We've muted them. Perfect. All right. So now we wanna actually unmute them it's just for further testing, and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna develop the timed mute function. There we go. Internet's a little slow today. But yeah, we're going to develop the time mute function. So the stuff that will go in here is going to be the functions for timed mute. So to start doing that, we're going to go ahead and copy code. I know, great. But we're going to copy the code from here straight into here. And that'll be how that's going to work. Now we also want to create our uh, stuff, or we actually want to copy our stuff for muted here. So we're going to copy all this stuff again, paste it over here. Now we're going to add a new thing here. We're going to do four... And then we're going to put space, then we're going to do args, two, and then we're going to put seconds here. So this will be muting in seconds. Now, you can change this later on when you're actually coding this, but in seconds, I'm going to do this for seconds just for the testing of this video, so we don't have to wait for that long. So now we're going to unmute after a few seconds. So now we're going to create a, a timer in Java. So we haven't done this before, but basically this is going to run the function after a certain delay. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna do new java.util.timer and we wanna dot schedule that. So we're gonna schedule it to run at a certain time here and we're gonna actually 
delete all the stuff here. We want to enter here and we want to make it so it's like that. So we can put stuff in the middle there. So as you can see, timer schedule, we can add arguments, but we're just going to type it. It just doesn't matter. Uh, we're going to do java.util. We're going to create a timer task uh, that we can use. Then we'll put these brackets here. So now it says add unimplemented methods. If we hover over it, so we're just going to click add unimplemented methods. And that's all we need to do here. I'm just going to uh, remove all this stuff. And now we want to add the amount of time. So schedule is going to uh, require amount of time. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a comma down here and we're going to do integer dot parse in. So this will convert the argument, the second argument into a number. And then we want to multiply it by a thousand. So I'll give it in second. OK, so what have we done right now? Well, we've created a new timer task that will run after a certain amount of time. So basically what that means is we've created code that runs after the specified amount of seconds. And if you want it to be not seconds, then you could just add the multiplication for 60 and so on and so forth right here. So for hours, minutes, you know, seconds, stuff like that. But now we want to make it so it unmutes them. So inside of this function here, we'll make the unmute code. And guess what? We could just copy what we've done before here in our code, paste it straight into here. And we're just going to do unmuted. Actually, that doesn't matter yet. All right. So now we're going to stop our bot, run our bot once more because I forgot to stop it previously. And now what we can do is we can actually mute for a certain amount of seconds. So we can mute at box VPS tester for six seconds. We've muted them for six seconds. As you can see, they have the muted role here. And after six seconds passes, which happens to be a very long time, it unmutes the actual tester that we've got here. So uh, it works perfectly fine. Now, the only thing you should keep in mind is don't shut down the bot when you have somebody muted. So, for example, I mute them, I mute them for 50 seconds. I stop the bot. It won't unmute them ever again until you manually unmute them. So another good thing you could do to get around this is remove the mute roles on startup of the bot. But then again, you got to kind of think about the fact that you might have somebody permanently muted. The best way to prevent people being stuck in muted is just to remove the muted roles, every single muted role on startup. So that's a challenge for you guys if you want to do that. But anyways, guys, all the code that I used in this video will be down below in the description in the GitHub so you can use it and uh, experiment with it and add stuff to it and do stuff like that. So anyways, guys, I'm out. I'll see you in the next one.